Uh, my name is Kent Uehara, and uh, I uh, own FTC Skateboarding. Uh, FTC started in 1986, but it's uh, basically I, my father had a sporting goods store growing up. Um, I basically, as I grew up, I started skateboarding when I was about 10 in the 80s. Basically, eventually through him, ended up opening up or starting to sell skateboards to my friends and then opening up uh, my own store. Uh, and uh, it's been, now been uh, almost 35 years. The one thing that's always consistent here is that there's always been core skateboarding and there's multiple generations of skateboarders in San Francisco. So um, I think we've been very fortunate to have like a real strong, strong, influential skateboard community. Um, it's kind of like just status quo for San Francisco. Uh, so in that regard, it, 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 does, it hasn't changed. Yeah. Um, you know, there's really no set rules to how we do collaborations. Uh, I think the strong majority of them are friends. And that's hopefully still the main reason why we end up doing them. Um, whether they're like people that we recently met or have known for lots of long time. Um, that's usually kind of what drives us. If it's a big brand, then it's probably, you know, kind of based on a relationship. Like if we do something with Nike, for example, it's just based on a relationship as a retailer with them first and then now as a, I guess, as a product partner. Hmm. Well, we were, yeah, we were um, very, uh, I guess, uh, fortunate to be asked to host the first, I guess, uh, the first event for the uh, Pablo Ramirez Foundation, which we just had, which was a huge success and uh, uh, sold a lot of, uh, I guess, a lot of prints and artwork and had just a really, just, just a really beautiful night uh, in tribute of Pablo. And, um, and so, yeah, so I think that uh, basically now there's a foundation that, that his mother started. We we're just very happy and proud to be Part of part of that launch, I guess, and um, you know, it seems like it's going to be. They're doing one in New York next, so I think it's, it sounds like you know they're really pushing it hard to uh, get it get it off the ground and have it be uh, make a difference. Yeah, you know, I think that uh, one of my goals is to continue to open up FTCs in uh, international cities um, because I think that uh, you know if, th if there's already places that. If there's places that, that could benefit from having an FTC out there, I, I think that it would be a cool thing. It's, it's a good thing to do. Seoul definitely would be a cool place. I want to thank and appreciate all the people that support us uh, out, in, out in Korea and uh, yeah, you know, all, of the, all the fans that we have out there. It's nice to know that people still appreciate like, what we do, like, being that we're the, the small size that we are. But it's nice to, like, to, have, to know that people acknowledge what we do and, and that it's that it's worth the efforts that we put into it. All right? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you so much. Oh, no worries, yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thanks for the interview.